Hello, it's Commander Ricardo here and I'm playing Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. It was released on Steam a few days ago. This is training mission number three. Training mission number three, everybody. We've had battle stars in the last training mission. I don't think they're going to give us battle stars this time. Can I take this opportunity, though? If you like the videos that you're seeing and you want to see some more videos, click the like and subscribe button. And also look for that alarm button as well, that notification button that will notify you when I'm putting new videos up onto YouTube so you don't miss yet another video. Lots of videos on the channel with Elite Dangerous. There's going to be Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator, Battlestar Deadlock, and Empire at War mods as well. So let's get on with Training Mission 3. So Training Mission 3 is going to see us Alpha, but we'd probably need an over in the area of Pycon. This is and we're going to move like, to Geminon Find us a way back to Helios Gamma and sort of whatever Cylon threat Daedalus and hassle we've got Ragnar's there, the more attack. than likely. Commander, Let's we're see going what to need more ships. we've got to say. We've been chewed out one by for the Jupiter -class battle stars. Admiral Kane, and we're only prepped to crunch manticores right now. The floor and uh, Agathon is coming to our aid. This condescending engineer, I'm not, I'm, not a, I'm not a fan of him, to be perfectly honest. Just build me some ships. So click on the build ships, you can see we've got Manticore Corvettes we can use to replenish any damaged or destroyed okay. ships we've that got we've got. Now all underway, these cost but let's push its fit out and training schedule okay. forward. Um, and also fleet points. So you can rush it and spend more Tilium, or you can just let it happen and it'll take two turns to build a Manticore. Things like an Adamant Carrier will take three turns, Battle Stars God knows how much they're going to take. Is and there are different orders, variations Commander. of battle stars. So as we rush them, we can transfer those directly to the Daedalus fleet group. So when the Daedalus Sir, moves, that fleet group moves with them up to a certain amount. So you can only have, I think, 3,500 command points assigned the to the Daedalus. Ready. And then you can have additional battle star groups you can make and then spread around the map as and when this map of the 12 colonies. So clicking on the Global missions, the here we go now, chapter three, it investigate the Idris interference from Caprica Terminal. And we'll get 400 odd tillium and some requisition points as well. Without Idris, we can't tell if there's going to be a planet-sized inconvenience at the end of an FTL jump. We believe the Cylons so, that's are behind the, the interference of the Idris network and using the civilians at Caprica Terminal as a human shield. Caprica has granted us operational access to the terminal surrounds. Galactica is still MIA, so there will be no Battlestar to save the day if the Cylons do show up. To recap, we have to destroy every Cylon transmitter we find, restore the Idris relay, and jump back to Ragnar, all without causing a single civilian scratch. So clicking on this Smith note, that's us back at the, office, the right, table, Commander? back into the action as it were, and let's get moving so we can get that space station to its destination. Let's jump. So it's saying that Helios systems are limited because the Idris system is compromised. So we're going to have to make a few hops. So FDL drives a spooling, 40 tillium to jump. And that's something I can get my head around, tillium to jump and, and it being like a sort of a currency. Well in this game I suppose it is. It is a currency. You can't do anything without it. You can't build ships without it. You can't go jumping without it. No tillium that comes from the colonies and you're a very unhappy camper. So very important to keep those colonies happy and to keep that tillium rolling in. Now one way to keep them happy is to put a battle star group or reinforce the, with the colonial fleet in their systems. Makes them feel nice and protected and they'll up their tillium contribution and hold to the, the 12 colony accord. So we're just placing our fleet group is jumping manticores in now. Three. In system. Two, one. And here we are, chapter three, transmissions from Caprica. Sir, Caprica Terminal has been locked down and local forces are en route to our position. Readings indicate there's definitely a bogus transmitter in the area. Civilian lives are of value. Their property is not. Find and destroy any relay hijacked by the Cylons. You heard her, Commander. Go blow up somebody's satellite. So, okay, we're in system. Let's get moving. 
We've got to take out some satellites. Hey, not a worry. Let's move on over to start intercepting Understood. those satellites. The Caprica Defense Force has given us two adamant cruisers. Now they can launch Vipers, as I mentioned uh, early on in the video, in previous videos. Daedalus, that's got a squadron of Vipers as well, but the Manticores, they are Viperless. Just missiles and guns on those. So we can move the adamant cruisers now, ready to intercept those satellites and get those taken out. Get their Vipers launched as well. Don't want to spread our forces too thin. It's quite a large map, this, to be perfectly honest with you. And uh, destroy that Cylon satellite is going to be very important. So we're ending the turn. Ships are moving into position. to core to intercept that particular satellite turrets we're going to focus fire on it and get that taken out of the equation other ships we're going to see ourselves intercepting those satellites now taking them out map nothing much to see just yet but I reckon all that's going to change pretty quickly just they haven't flagged up the other satellites just yet even though we can see them on the screen oh as soon as you get close and it flags them up so it's a proximity thing And here come our Cylon contacts. Thank you, Cylons. Sir, it's all getting quite contacts. boring without you turning up. Let's see what ships they're going to place so in front of us this time. The satellite is destroyed. We can leave Helios Alpha. So a good correct? place of the Caprica station in the background. I've got another candidate for this. A little bit reminiscent, I think, over. somewhat of the Star Trek. Dare I say it? The Star Trek star bases. then back in the day when all this the Battlestar Galactica was being designed you know, for the artwork the um, the Vipers had a connection with the Buck Rogers interceptor as well and the Vipers Onic were Commander. also connected to Star Wars and Ralph McQuarrie who did an awful lot of the artwork you know had them planned for other films I think they made the right, the right decision I think X-Wings are X-Wings, Vipers are Vipers. I know we were all used to it, but I think it's a good idea they, they made the decision that they make to assign it to the, the films yes, sir. and to the other stuff that we all know and love. Then, can you imagine, you know, Star Wars with the Vipers and Battlestar Galactica with X-Wings? Still a snub fighter, mind. Anyway, so, we're... Um, Letting rip on those satellites. Hostile unit identified. The Cylons have turned up. Interference is still in place, and it seems to be getting stronger. Commander, I have identified two more satellites showing potential interference. Cylon raiders at us now. now I'm going to try and split the force off so that we get at least one ship engaging the satellites and taking those out. So I've taken the space bar, allows you to fire guided missiles, assign where the turrets are going to go, where they're going to fire, whether we launch Vipers or not. And we're launching Vipers from our adamant cruisers that are on loan from Caprica. I have the feeling this is going to be a long drawn out mission somehow, a real long drawn out mission. We're nine minutes in already. 
So we're ending our turn. More ships are starting to engage. We're getting them in, into the, the main part of the theatre now. This Manticore is letting rip against the Cylon Corvette. So far, so good, dare I say it. We're going to get some guided missiles, on, missiles on that Cylon Corvette now. Change its heading. Gets on a level plane. Get that Manticore in as well to intercept. So it can unleash its missiles. Missiles on their way. When it's in range. And this adamant class, we're gonna get them in. On it, Commander. Maneuver those so we can start engaging that satellite. Any of the Cylons in the area. So there's our Viper Squadron, Mark 1. Select the target. Squadron target is confirmed. They can take that satellite out. While we maneuver the larger ships to engage the hostile Cylon force. So that's my plan. So again, moving those manticores to intercept. Again, more micromanagement of a battle. And when you get to the end of a battle, it lasts literally two minutes. I see I've seen cinematics go two minutes. This has been a long drawn out battle as well, mind you. And I'm ashamed to say it's nowhere near over. I haven't been very efficient in my deployment. This is still the training missions. I'm still learning, like a lot of you are still learning out there now. I mean, again, I stayed away from the beta. I didn't want to be anywhere near the beta. I wanted to see the finished game Understood. with all its polish. A lot of people on YouTube have put a lot of videos on, you know, with their tactics and things like that. And I've tried to steer away from that because um, I wanted to learn myself. I didn't want the entire experience to be spoiled um, by that, if that makes any sense. At least for the training missions. Then you can see what tactics are going on. You can start going into the multiplayer and playing the skirmishes. And I think things are going to be a bit different. And I think, you know, it won't be too long. I'll, I'll feel confident enough to get in there and have a good go at a skirmish. To this manticore, yeah, we're gonna go and engage along the other side. That Cylon Tarrant Talon. We're in they're in our firing solution. We've got that talon targeted, which is great. It's just scraped past us. Didn't didn't plow one into one like we did in the last mission. So we're gonna swing it around so we can bring our, continue to bring our guns to bear. Meanwhile, we'll move that adamant class it, around to intercept that way. We've got one going off to the left after that Cylon Talon. And it's Viper Squadron. And that Manticore has been hacked. They've got to find a better defense against those Cylons and Cylon hacking. So great, we're nearly going to be ready to end our turn. Here we go. Let's let things play out. Of course, we've got a satellite to destroy there. There's our Viper Squadron. Those adamant class really are little, like, little baby battle stars, even though they're class, I think, as a frigate. Yep, here we go. That adamant's going to engage. That one we're going to swing around. Get it directly so into the fight. Go to their Viper Squadron, see what they're doing. We're going to 
to get them to attack that satellite. It's pointless having them there with that silent talent. We've taken out their radar force. Squadron target Keep engaging is confirmed. them with a target. Right, end the turn. Let's let it all play out. So one Viper Squadron is staying with that Talon, the other Viper Squadron breaking off and attacking that satellite and taking it out. So our Manticore is in pursuit. Fire some on that other Talon. Cylon Raiders coming up behind it. If we can draw them in a bit close to the Daedalus, their cannons will take charge and destroy it. Well, that's the plan anyway. So again, we're targeting that Talon. Understood. No joy, sir. So far, so good. I mean, the Silence done a good job at breaking the force up into different areas. And as a result of this, I'm, I'm spread quite thinly over the entire area. We've wasted enough time. Commander? Remove the Cylon threat from Caprica Terminal before so any more Kane's come in and said, risk. right, just destroy it. Remove the Cylon risk. Fair enough. They're going to still hit it with some missiles. And then once we get it with some Onyx missiles, Commander. we're going to pursue the other one. to make sure our fire control gets prepared and now with fire control being so damaged we're not going to be able to fire so we need to get some sort of repair crew on that oh, that manticore is going to be of much use there's an ice cream in an astronaut suit so moving back to the main bulk of where it's all happening with the cylons we've got that manticore targeting that talon We've got Adamant coming up in support. That Viper Squadron's taken out that satellite. And we're going to retarget it to those Cylon Raiders. This Adamant now is going to fire guided missiles on that Talon. and ensure we can get that taken out. Lots going on in this mission. I think this is the, the try and get you used to multiple targets, multiple units at your command. The Caprica terminal has taken a little bit of damage, but nothing too much. That looks about right. I think we should end the turn some ships into motion. Okay. So we're still appearing fire control. That adamant is moving to intercept. This manticore is going to swing back round. Try and take out that talon. We need to engage the focus fire now to ensure that we've got the Talon focused because our Vipers should be able to take out that remaining Cylon Raider squadron.
yeah and that's it let's make sure the focus fire is set and two adamant is taking damage those times i think they're quite definitely a hardier ship certainly much more hard Understood. than what the corvettes are sure the hangar is all shored up there's no additional damage impacting that adamant's capabilities again we're going to move maneuver that adamant so we can lay a bit of additional fire down And we're still on fire control. We can't fire anything because we're repairing. Which is a shame. Let's change our heading on that manticore. We've been hacked from two sources. Which means we are in double trouble. We're going in pursuit of that Corvette. It's not much happening that turn, really. more maneuvers than anything else. Still no ability to lay any missile fire down. that adamant class I've got to try and clear out those Cylon ships this has been a particularly tough mission I think although I think I split my group of ships up too much I think I should have brought the capital ships in together and then sent the Vipers off just to go and do the dirty work in regards to the satellites Perhaps kept one squadron to, to support that sort of fleet, as it were. So we're swinging around, so we can Adamant get it on the broadside. Maybe the missiles. And there's that one out. Brilliant. We've actually destroyed something. It must have been taking the best part of 23 minutes. So we can move that now to regain and... Uh, engage the rest of the fleet. Where's our Vipers assigned to this? Everything's fine. Okay. So, a bit of damage to the front, but not too much. Now back in the main battle, meanwhile, later that same day, we've got missiles coming in from that adamant to engage that talon. That manticore is going to try and head it off at the pass. Yes, Commander. Get the benefit of its guns. Our missile launchers are reloading. Very slow, drawn out mission, this one. So I would recommend this game, to be honest with you. I think if, if strategy and, and micromanagement is your thing, if you like Battlestar Galactica and you like the Battlestar Galactica reimagined series, if you don't, even if you like the original series, then this is the game I think for you. It's a very good planning game, one that you haven't seen, I don't think, in a game for many, many years. This Manticore has indeed taken a right pasting. Manticore is taking damage by 
that Cylon Corvette. So let's just turn change its heading, let's try and draw it into the other so say we all. ships at the same time. They're coming towards us, the Cylon's in pursuit. Fire control still offline. My plan is, is to move that manticore into the main battle group. The main battle group then pick up the slack and destroy the Cylon pursuer. Let's move that adamant so into intercept. No repairs needed there. That manticore. Let's change its heading as well, bring it into the main fight. That's repairing. Understood. Let's move it out the way so it doesn't crash into that station, because that would be embarrassing. And that Viper Mark 1 squadron. get to engage that nemesis. Understood. Manticore is taking damage. Nemesis Corvette. That is still lurking and lingering around. Okay, so we're coming down to it now. I think we're probably going to be victorious with a minimal amount of casualties. Well, I don't want to speak too soon because that Manticore is knackered. Yes, sir. Okay. Let's end that turn. Even though that ship has indeed been hacked. bring the rest of the ships into the fight. So we can't be too far away from the end. I mean, this has gone on for the best part of half an hour. Even I'm getting tired of this mission. Fire those missiles. Missile tubes prepped. Let's hope to God that just takes it out. Let's maneuver that manticore. Let him fire his missiles. All missiles are firing. That's great. That's still repairing. This ship is not going to get anywhere near the fight anytime soon. Everything else is popped in on the map. Don't really know what those signals are, but... Time to end the turn. So, missiles away. That's taken that Corvette missiles well incoming. and truly out. Thank God for that. I thought this mission was never going to be near its end. So let's re, re manoeuvre. Re-engage the remaining Salem force. On it, Commander. Missiles incoming! In that turn. I think he's gonna take that Manticore out. Manticore is taking damage. No, it's still going. How is that Manticore still going? It's had a right pound. I know we could cancel the repairs on the fire control system, but that's no guarantee would actually fire. Slow lumbering shape of those bigger ships coming in to engage. The Cylon's broken off. 
pursuit of that one manticore now. There's no heading towards that adamant. Our turrets, we're going to focus fire. Against that nemesis. Again, that manticore, we're going to move. And the other, other ship's not going to be nowhere near. This fight will be over very shortly. And it's certainly taken long enough, even by my own admission, it's taken ages. This has been 30 minutes, we're 30 minutes in. We'll bring our Viper Squadron back into that adamant and turn. So they've landed. Hopefully it's been one of the last turns. We can fire yes, missiles. Commander. That should take it out. Fire missiles. Yeah, let's go. End turn. That'll take that Corvette. Yeah, he's gone. Well and truly gone. Well, look at that. That's taken just Admiral over 30 King, minutes. Capricorn and and the replay are on the line. will take they next to, to no time. Fleet's involvement at Capricorn Terminal. No, but I've Diver been Ricardo and it's been Battlestar Galactica Deadlock by Slytherin Systems, released on Steam on the 31st of August. This has been Training Mission 3. Please check back for more missions in the series.